Hey, this is Dan Lehman from automationhelpers.com. And today we're going to talk about how we can automate the percentage complete field. Now, this is one of the many field types that we have inside of Smart Suite. And you can see that it's really handy from a visual standpoint. We can see what percentage are we currently complete of a particular task. But this is something that is done manually. You can click on a field and you can click and drag that to what it's supposed to be. But I'm not a huge fan of having to do this because. As you know, I'm obsessed with automation and I want to make sure that we don't have to rely on a user to be able to do this. I'd rather have the system inform us on how complete we are with something. So I have two apps that I'm using for this. I have a projects app and I have a tasks app. And these are related, of course, so that the tasks roll up to a project. And the one thing that makes this a little bit interesting is that I don't want to go just based off of how many tasks do we have complete. Instead, in my world, running a project management team, I know that tasks have different weights and different values, that some things take several hours and some might only take a half hour to complete. So what I wanted to do to add a little bit of extra flavor to this is to create an estimated hours field on the tasks app that says how many hours it takes for a particular task. And so I've added those in just manually of it takes one hour, five hours, and three hours. And so when we talk about percentage complete, we're not talking about one of the three tasks is done. Instead, we're saying one hour of our total of nine hours is done. And that's how we're going to think about it in this. This is going to be really helpful if you're doing any kind of capacity planning. This would work for sales data too, if you want to think about dollars instead of hours. Lots of different use cases for this. Now, to get into it, if we think about this, we probably are thinking of, okay, if we have a number of tasks, we can start with roll-up fields. And that's exactly how I started this. I added a few different fields on here and I'll show you exactly what I did with each of them. The first thing that I did is I created an estimated hours field. And this is just a roll-up to say of all the tasks that are related to the project. In this case, it's all three of these that are related to this quick start implementation. We just want to sum all of the available hours that it could take. So this estimated hours, if I go ahead and I modify the field settings, we can see I used a roll-up field here, and I used the roll-up field from the tasks app, and I used estimated hours, and then I just did a simple sum function to be able to sum that up. And when I did, that gave me my total of nine hours. Now, of course, we need to think of what's the numerator in this. So we've got our denominator. We have X amount of hours divided by that total of nine. So now we need to understand for the tasks that are actually complete, let's go ahead and sum those up. And because we need some conditional logic to this, the current rollup fields don't support conditional logic. That means that we need to use a formula for this. So in this case, for my estimated completed hours, if I go ahead and modify field settings, we can see I created a formula field instead of just a rollup in this case. And I used a sum if because this gives us our conditional logic that we can sum if a certain status or something equals true. So in this case, I was saying if the related tasks dot their status, so the field of status from the tasks app, if that equals complete, then we're going to go ahead and roll up the tasks dot estimated hours. So that estimated hours from that. That's what gives us this conditionality, especially because we don't have that functionality inside of a roll up today. So that gives us so far what we need of this six hours of what's complete. Again, if I take a look at this, my Two complete ones are this one hour and five hours. That adds up to six. So this is correct. Six hours and nine hours. This is looking good so far. Now the thing we want to do is we want to add one more formula field here. And this is just going to be some basic division where we're saying, let's take that estimated completion, the six hours, divide it by the nine hours. And then I just applied some rounding here, multiplied that by 100 so that this will give me a 67 integer as opposed to a 0.67. The reason I did this as well is because the percent complete field or the percentage complete over here, that that needs to actually take a whole number, an integer between zero and 100. And so because of that, that's why I added that additional rounding here. We have all the fields that we need at this point. Now it's time to actually get into the automation. I'll go ahead and open up my automations. And I've already created one called update completion percentage. The trigger I'm running this on is when a record matches condition. And in this case, I did it on the projects app. 
And I said, where my percent complete is not equal to the percentage completion. So this one is the actual visualization, that percent complete. And percentage completion is our formula. And we did not equal to because every time that this is being updated, our formula field with the rollup, then suddenly the visualization is going to be out of sync. And that's what's going to be able to trigger this to be able to say, er, this is not equal. We need to now make it equal and make that change. So this is kind of the basis of our logic for that trigger. And then the action itself is pretty simple here. All we're saying is use that same projects app. It's the same exact record that we're on. And now we're going to say, take that percent complete. Again, this is the visualization field. And we need to set it equal to the percentage completion. So this is about as basic as logic gets to say, if these things are not the same, go ahead and make them the same. And we can save that automation. When we click out of here, now this will run every time that they are out of sync. Just to give you an idea of how this works, we can go down to our tasks. We could go ahead and uncomplete this. This is going to work even if we're going uh, reverse in this. So maybe I had some extra work to do. I say in process, I head back to my projects here. Notice it's at that 67%. And my estimated completed hours is now only down to one hour. And so that this is going to trigger that update because they are out of sync. And you'll notice that it takes a moment there, but that now updated because once this changed to 11, 11 is out of sync with the 67. And now go ahead and update that. It's really up to you if you want to make these available for the user to be able to see them. What I like to do is probably hide them. And so I, we're just taking a look at the percentage complete. We don't have to worry about all the extra formulas and rollups that we have. I hope this has been helpful for you to see how we can make our own automated percentage complete field. Of course, this is something that we're hoping is actually going to be obsolete since we'll have some more granular control over formulas and rendering them as these field types in the future. If you have any questions, we're offering a free 30-minute consultation over at our website, automationhelpers.com. Let us know any questions you have in the comments below.